Hello, hello everybody. We just come around. Okay. So good evening. Hope you're doing well. So I've got everything set up now. I can see who comes in to say hello. And alrighty. So I'm just going to start mixing my resin now. So I've already got my pigments ready and I've already mixed the part A and part B and I'll just show you. Just putting my gloves on. <coughs> Esther, hello, how are you going? Sorry, I don't understand, but thank you so much for being here. Hey, Mum. Okay, so this is the Just Resin Diamond Coat. So that's what I'm using. And so I've already got it in my cup here and stirring, stirring. Um, But what I want to do is take it out of that cup. Keep that cup for later. So, oops. Very careful with those. So, as I mentioned before, hi Michelle, hi Deborah. From Charleston SC. Hmm. What, what is SC, Deborah? So. You see, I'm trying to think. Uh, South Carolina. How's that? Is that something? Oh, it is. <laughs> I so <sorry>, got that. <laughs> I'm stoked. Well, thank you so much for joining. So just getting this part A and part B mixed. Oh, I did it again. Best, better move it. I'm sort of trying to get you in frame. Good morning, Lisa. How are you? So while I'm mixing and welcoming everybody into the into the video into the chat. I'd just like to say that while you're watching, may you be inspired, learn something new, or simply relax while you're watching. Lisa, Las Vegas. Oh, that is so cool. You know, I really wanted to go to Las Vegas this year um, to go see uh, the Artisan Summit and but I still don't even have a passport because I've never left Australia. So, best I get onto that for next year then, hey. All right. So just scraping the sides, the bottom of the cup, and the stick to make sure it's all well incorporated into the mix. And what we have here is I just raised in uh, this is emerald green, it's a metallic, it's very beautiful. It's one of the first pigments I ever got. Not surprising that it's emerald green. <laughs> green is my favorite. Uh, so this one here is titanium white. Um, this one here is dark turquoise because I didn't want to go with black, but I wanted something dark. So that sounded perfect. Um, hello, Diana. 
You're an MJ. Ne New Jersey? Is that by any chance? 9.32 a.m. That's a good time. Good time of the morning. Right. Michelle is familiar with the area. Summer was stopped because of COVID. Yes. Yes, and all casinos closed. Yep. Yeah, so I know that that has given me that extra time to get my passport together. And save up for accommodation and etc. So were you going along to the Artisan Summit yourself, Lisa? All right, so that's next. And the only one left I haven't told you as yet is this one here. And that's an interference mica pigment and that of green. So we're going green. I've even grabbed out some tinsel sparkle and some green glitter. Not the most perfect matches in colour, but I'm feeling green, so we're just going green. So pop that in there. I think I need to just There we go, broke that stick. Alright, so now we'll just pop in some pigments, some resin. So now, this way, when I pour in the resin to the mica powders, that interference is covered by the resin. And won't have that a a dusty plume effect come from that into the air. Well, I think I was forgetting how small these little cups are. Okay, so where are we up to? Lisa, you're thinking about it. Oh, yeah. The Diane, yes. Is that nearby? Oh, New Jersey, totally. Thanks. All right, so let's get mixing. See what these beautiful colors look like. So this is an acacia wood oval tray. It does have little uh, padded stoppers underneath, um, but that shouldn't matter because it's got this edge and the resin will stay contained within. So getting that interference blended into the resin. So when you do this, when you put the pigments first, you have to make sure that you're scraping around all the corners and edges and the base of the container that you're mixing it in. So just to make sure that everything is fully incorporated as best you can. This is the titanium white. Dun, dun. Right. You're from India. Jagannath, Jagannath. Welcome. Did I seal the bottom? No, I haven't. Um, I've done some of these before and what I don't seal the very bottom um, but I do have a look around the very edge 
So, got a bit of glitter in here. So I hold it up and I check around the edges in here to see if there's any light shining through. And if there is a bit of hot glue, um, run around that inner edge or a, a wood glue. Um, yeah. And then let it dry. So that's if you, you know, you can do that the day before if you're using like the wood glue or something like that. Or do it first thing in the morning before you resin it in the evening. Just give it a chance to dry. I'm just getting some of this pigment up from the bottom. better to put the pigment in. Michelle, it, it, it really, I don't believe it matters. I know that some people have found um, inks. So the really liquid pigments, well, yeah, inks. Um, sometimes if they go into a cup first, they can eat away at the cup. So you definitely don't want to have that first. Um, but I think what it is, I did it this way tonight because I was trying to save time. And also because I was using the powder, mica powder, for the interference screen. And I wanted to make sure that I remembered to put that in first before adding the resin. But otherwise, I would normally put the resin in first and then add my pigments so that I'm adding the pigment into the middle of the resin, not trying to scrape the pigment off the sides of the cup to mix into the resin, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to put some clear into these separate cups for the oops get really happy with that for the glitter and the sparkle so they're there ready I'm just going to run a little bit of clear and spread that around So you heard wood holds air and creates bubbles. Do you get that problem? <clears throat> so far I haven't on these. Um, I have had it on something I created myself that I cut out with some uh, pine wood. And I, th I thought I, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't seal it, but when I did, when I poured onto it, it just kept bringing up air bubbles. So I know that that one in particular just kept breathing. Whereas I haven't had that with these ones. I don't know whether it's because it may be a denser wood. I know that this acacia wood is very hard, especially when uh, sawing it or sanding it it's a hardwood whereas the one that I had the air problems air bubbles with was a soft to medium wood but if you're if you are uncertain about any of anything like that go ahead and do the preparation because preparation can mean 
you know, how much it can affect how much you yourself like and appreciate the results. So, oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Anything that I can um, answer based on experience or what I've learnt from others but haven't actually trialled yet, I will share it. Absolutely. Okay. This down. Just run the torch over it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I feel like you're a little bit too far away. So perhaps. How is that? Pretty much spot on. So to the left a bit. Okay. Alright. So because we have this little bit of clear, <coughs> excuse me, clear down, uh, the colours are going to be a lot freer to move around. So that's like just giving it that extra little interference colour now. So it started coming out in that little ziggy zaggy pattern so I thought I'll try and <laughs> maintain that as we went along the line. So just having a look and trying to work out where I think I'd like more the emerald as compared to the dark to put the interference next to a dark colour. And also leave some of that space for that brown of the wood to come through because um, with green I actually brown brown and green no. Indian time is evening 716. Oh, that's very cool. It is 11.47 p.m. It is almost midnight here in Australia. Just scrape out what I can. And then into this same little pot I'm going to add some of this clear and then add the glitter to that and it's going to come out as a little bit more of a transparent shade so it's going to be the same turquoise but a much more transparent oh it's beautiful I think I'll just add some back into there. And I really want to try this sparkle because it's kind of like little flat sticks. Like, um, what is that? 
Mm. You know the things you hang up around your Christmas tree? Tinsel. Tinsel. So the colours may clash a little, but that's okay. I'm happy with that. Diana, you love the colours? Thank you. So now I have that more transparent turquoise with that sparkle through there. Alright, so when you are doing anything with resin, please follow all safety standards. Don't do as I do. This is only because I cannot talk to you through a mask. And for your own safety, please read all requirements, wear the correct PPE. Alright, so we've got a really nice mix of colours around. Add this one. So we're just going to put the heat gun on it now. Do you know what design you're going to do before you start? Or just go with whatever comes to mind. Green is your favorite color too, Michelle. Awesome. Um, I kind of have a lid before I go into it, but that's mostly about the colors and how I think I'd like to lay it out. Um, there's, just a, there's just no guarantee. So, you flew it up, it, it challenges you because it, um, it moves its own way. So, all right, I'll just start up the heat gun. So it's going to be a little bit noisy. surprise come out from those colors yeah yeah that's it okay so I'm going to turn the heat gun up now so that it blows it around so we've warmed it we've cleared away some air bubbles so now we're going to pump up the air pump up the heat a little bit and give it a little bit more movement
Hey there, Anna. What's this? This is resin. So we're doing a resin feature on a wooden tray. So it's gorgeous. Thank you, Michelle. So there is just a couple of areas that I'd like to add a little bit more. So that's the beauty of heating it up, clearing away the bubbles, revealing sections that might need a little bit more in there. I can see some of these gorgeous areas with the interference so I'll be sure to point those out when we come down and have a close up. You can see depth within the sparkle glitter because some of it sits on the top and yet some of it's underneath. That looks so cool. So just with some of the interference I've added here, I'm going to run the torch over it. And I'm going to use um, an old business card that I've sliced down the middle and just give it a bit of movement by swiping it out. I think I'd like to go this way first. Then pick it up again on this way and bring it over here. Oh, it's so beautiful. Can't wait to show you up close. Lovely effects, thank you. The cells are beautiful. They are, what does it represent? Anna, it represents green. Because I love green. <laughs> no specific representation. Um, I just chose green because I love green. And... I really wanted to do and this wooden piece that I've had sitting here so that's what we chose for tonight's video Okay, almost done with this. Oh, it's beautiful picking up that colour and just gliding it through. Green and blue are calming colours. Beautiful. Thank you, Win Um, Thank you. I agree. Absolutely. So, and I'm just going to just keep an eye on the chat for a second and just say thank you so much for everyone who's watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. 
Um, it really helps and if you ring that bell, I receive all notifications of when I upload new content. And give the video a thumbs up please, really appreciate that. Leave me a comment below and share it with others who might also appreciate it. So there we have it. I'm going to sign off. We'll come down. We'll have a close up. And then I'll say sayonara for the night. Um, that looks awesome. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. Thank you for joining us, Winneva. Gorgeous, Diana. Thank you. All right, let's have a look. Bring you in. We'll have a close up and check out these amazing, the amazing depth. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to flip you over. There we go. Right. So I'm going to do my best to move gently. I can't turn that light off, but you can see some of the effects in here. Where am I? Here? I need a pointer, don't I? Oh, look at that. It's awesome. I'll just move back a little. You can see that that's got that tinsel that sits on the surface and the tinsel that's underneath. Let's try and get another great shot without all that glare. Spectacular, thank you. Alright. Oh, there's a good shot. Let's see if we can catch a lot of this here in this section here is the interference color. So it kind of looks like a pearlish pearlish green. Right, let's come through the center. Can you see those cells underneath? That's so cool. All right, back up here, we'll turn. Come down to this side. Again, we've got cells and reactions on the top. That glitter, that sparkle glitter on the surface and underneath. Oh, there's a great shot of the depth. So, very happy. And in there as well. All right. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed having a look at the close-up, checking out the effects that were actually created. You see that interference with that more pearl, pearly green look. So one big overall shot and we'll leave it there. So thank you once again Thank you so, so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And at this time, I thought you wiped out all those cells, but you just created more. Yes, Lisa, <laughs> I did. It's about the movement, the heat and the movement, crossing them over each other and moving them around. It's absolutely amazing. So thank you so, so much. Yes, if you have to head out at this time, please take care. And I hope to see you all again in another video. So be kind, be creative, and be fabulous. Bye.